vieux proverbe des Balkans dit « Il pousse plus de choses dans un jardin que nous en avons semé. » Nous sommes en Croatie, un pays de l'ex-Yougoslavie. Cette région qui est habitée par un passé où l'homme lui a fait violence par sa volonté de vouloir la conquérir et la posséder. Zagreb est la capitale des Croates avec une population de majorité catholique. La religion est un symbole puissant dans la formation d'une nouvelle société et d'un nouveau pays. Zagreb est une ville culturelle, une ville des jeunes tournée vers l'Europe. Bientôt, Zagreb se trouvera dans l'Union Européenne. Hey, how you doing everybody? My name is Philip. I'm also known as Fat Philly. And I want to welcome you to Zagreb, Croatia. And um, we're sitting here in front of this beautiful cathedral, which is like, you know, very important in the cultural and other means of, you know, our social life. I always say when the Americans and other Europeans had most fun in the 90s, we, 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 we had something different here, but we had fun too. I would tell you the, the best part is in Zagreb, people would say was in the 90s, you know, like during the war, we had, you know, all the big parties were here, everybody was just like trying to go out and, and you know, forget about what was going on around us. French students and I live in Zagreb and so can you maybe tell me some things about your country? Oh, about Croatia. Uh, well, it's a beautiful country. I think a lot of people don't know really about uh, what Croatia is. There are lots, lots of prejudice about uh, living on Balkan because there was a war here and everybody thinks that it's still on. But uh, it, we developed a lot and we have a We are very conscious about our nation and because we fought for it, so uh, it's, it's not that bad as everybody thinks it is. We're, we're even de very developed, we have everything that, that there is outside, it's just that people don't see it yet. Although it is a small country, it is very nice, you can visit. <laughs> I think that to, in order to fight this prejudice that people have about Croatia and about Balkans, they should just come and see and give us a chance. <laughs> <laughs> In Croatia, there is still, in a part of the public, uh, present this this strong feeling that uh, it is, in a way, impossible to commit a crime in a defensive war, and uh, which is obviously not correct. But uh, that's how the part of the public still feels. This society has not did, did not want to open these issues, or did not want to tackle the issues, uh, the, the the issue of its own past. The politicians uh, are acting as they are acting just because we can. If we don't have the active citizens on the other side, then we can do whatever we think is the best. And sometimes it's not the best. <laughs> My name is Maria Lugaric. I'm the member of Croatian Parliament. I was elected for the first time at the general elections in January 2000. And I have never thought of myself to being the professional politician. I, I dreamt to be a teacher in school to work with children, but still, I have enough time to, <laughs> to have my dream come true. I work at a non-governmental organization uh, that is called the Center for Peace Studies uh, that came into being uh, during the war in Croatia and it was involved uh, in the anti-war movement. I'm Mario Majic. Uh, I study political science here in Zagreb. Uh, in the Youth Initiative for Human Rights, we believe, we believe that the only right way to really um, connect young people from the countries is to 
uh, talk about everything and not to have taboo topics. When you go through the, um, through the textbooks of what uh, children study in school or how history is uh, written or how history is portrayed, I still feel it as problematic. I think the people must understand the change that uh, has been in my country for the past 20 years. The institutions, in a way, tend not to dig that much around the topics that are as politically problematic as this one. Most histories, wherever I go, are uh, too patriotic and uh, too grandiose. Especially in this region, um, we did have uh, wars like every 50 years or so, and um, the facts were never established, the, the crimes were never investigated. It was very, very clear in the 90s how the nationalist politicians on any side um, used um, those conflicts before to again, um, in a way, uh, feed the hatred of people towards, towards each other. The question of the war, war crimes and atrocities committed during the war is what has to be raised and has been raised over the last 10 years in the wider audiences, particularly among the younger generation. We hope that once you establish facts and once um, all the societies really get the information, the real information about what happened, and um, when victims, victims in that sense um, get um, recognition, if not satisfaction, um, then the society is um, that much healthier. If you want to have a better world, real deep root solution is in the spiritual understanding of our beings and all the, all the world. In a lot of communities, people don't communicate and do not wish their kids to mingle with the, with the children of the other ethnic group. Being always in the middle and on the crossroads, <laughs> uh, in the middle between south and, and, and the north, between east and the west, which is kind of good because it gives you a great privilege to have the best of the, all these words. But on the other hand, it's kind of the curse, you know. When you see our, our history, it's always fighting on this area because of it. My name is Viktor Koska and currently I am a research assistant to the Faculty of Political Sciences at the University of Zagreb. Ethnicity is always the emotional self-understanding of, of individual that he does belong to the wider cultural group or environment. Many people who are not from here think of a, of a Balkan as some wild, uh, <laughs> a wild space with, uh, full of uh, like uh, angry people. I couldn't argue that these identities, European identity or Balkan identities, are important at all to the younger Croatian generations. They're developing their own identity of being youth in Croatia. It isn't what it was like 10 or 20 years ago, so now it's very different. It's more modern and uh, we are going forward in many ways. So, but in some ways we're not. <laughs> There is a big problem in, in Croatian politics uh, that it was, and it's, it still is, very difficult to get, to attract and to keep uh, good people, uh, good human capital, if you want, uh, into, into a political profession. The corruption is really high in, in the society. I don't like that. It shows that we failed in our job. My name is Branislav Vibic. I'm the chairman of the steering board of the Academy for Political Development. I joined the Academy for Political Development uh, in uh, third generation, I think it was uh, five, six years ago. It's a networking platform, but it became also an important platform for discussing political uh, issues in, in, in the country. I am protesting because I am one of many unemployed, young unemployed, I have I am 23 years old, I have uh, no perspective, no future. The younger generation is not approaching the political authorities without questioning their decisions. People learn from their experience that they need to find some way to overbridge uh, 
the the rules they 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 they, they were forced by the situation to think how to you know find some sideways to do what in a normal state should be uh, done with normal 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 procedures and changing that mindset i think it's the biggest task at the moment why do you protest <laughs> because i want this government to leave they are competent they are corrupted and it's the basic demand of all people here together there are people from different orientations and political views but that's what unites us i think it's important that the citizens take also understand their responsibility and to to show that they can express their voice there are over 300,000 unemployed people in Croatia which is a very high percentage what is interesting in a way is that uh, the protests gather different kinds of groups so from extreme leftists to extreme uh, right wing uh, groups who protest together on one common denominator that they want this government to resign and they want early elections. Croatian state is defined as a national state of Croatian people, meaning ethnic Croats and other national minorities. Minorities can exist only if you have a nation, national majority. Croatian Catholic Church was politically very active in the nation state formation. Croatia established special relationships with the Vatican during the 90s and uh, its role in shaping the public attitude of what to be a Croat means and what is the interest of Croatian state in the 90s went hand in hand with the Catholic Church. Therefore it's not surprising that the Croatian Democratic Union in the late 80s and the early 90s used Catholic Church as the primary source to get in touch with the wider audiences about the new idea of the Croatian statehood and independence from Yugoslavia. What I would like to emphasize is the, is the importance of the educational system and, it, and the importance of what people who are being heard, so the politicians, uh, the clergy, the church, say. Je m'appelle Sylvain et je suis lecteur de français. En arrivant ici, euh, j'ai tout de suite proposé euh, un atelier de théâtre. De là euh, est née toute une aventure. Une reine molle. Don't let the TV fool you, you know, about those times, you know. It was, it was crazy times, but it was all, um, I would say, it was all, like all the negative things was promoted heavily and people didn't talk about the good things. On a passé tous les euh, limites, tous les barrières euh, mm -hmm. qui peut-être existaient à cause de la guerre. I went to Macedonia in 99, and that was the first rap show ever in Macedonia. So from Macedonia, we took a van to Belgrade, and we did a big show in Belgrade, and then we took a van to come to Zagreb. So I pretty much started doing little Balkan, Balkan tours. You know, it was just tricky to go over there, especially with your car at that point, because people would see license plates, and it was just wild times, you know? Ce que je trouve formidable avec ce théâtre et avec le festival qu'on fait à Zagreb, il y a, ça sera la troisième année, que ça sera pour la troisième fois qu'on se réunit, qu'on qu va réunir le pays d'ex-Yougoslavie dans un niveau euh, artistique. Je pense qu'aujourd'hui, on peut faire des relations entre les gens et on, et on ne peut pas être des ennemis comme les gens en Europe, je crois, pensent qu'on était dans la guerre, mais la guerre est passée et puis on est dans le présent. It was definitely something that broke the borders. It was definitely something that was important. Exchanging CDs and recording tapes and listening to different radio. I would send my tapes 
tapes all over ex-Yugoslavia. It, it meant a lot for, for people that were, you know, in those years that were, they couldn't get their information, they, they couldn't get their music. So I think we were just su supplying what they needed at the, at the time. Je crois qu'on arrive à faire passer beaucoup de choses par la culture et à rapprocher véritablement les, les, les populations. Je suis donc l'ambassadeur de France en Croatie depuis deux ans, je m'appelle Jérôme Pasquier. Moi, ce que je voudrais qu'on retienne en Europe, c'est que nous avons un pays qui a envie d'entrer dans l'Union européenne. C'est très bien, mais c'est aussi un pays que nous avons intérêt à accueillir dans l'Union européenne. La Croatie, elle va nous apporter une dimension supplémentaire, méditerranéenne, balkanique, danubienne. C'est un pays qui a une vraie personnalité et ça enrichit l'Europe. C'est souvent ce qui différencie l'un de l'autre qui nous détermine. Dans la création de la Croatie, il y a à peine 20 ans, la religion a justement été une des matières qui différenciait les Croates de leurs anciens compatriotes. En ces pays communistes, la Croatie est un pays en transition. Il faudra lui laisser du temps, tout comme au projet européen, du temps pour trouver son histoire et son identité, ou plutôt ses histoires et ses identités. What does it mean to be in Europe? We are in Europe, but this is Europe. What, what, to discover hot water? But this is Europe. It was always Europe, and I am staying now in Europe. To call this West Balkan, if you like, this is totally artificial. I don't know who, who called this part of country West Balkan. For me, I this is Europe. <laughs> this is Europe. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I don't know. Bilo gdje da krenem, o tebi sanjam, pute bi me svi tebi vode. Čeka s nekom čežnjom na svjetla tvoja, Sarajevo ljubavi moja.